Well, what's been trending? Lupita Nyong'o is upset over Grazia magazine's decision to retouch and edit out her natural hairstyle. The actress uh, graced the cover of the British fashion publication's November 2017 issue where she appears with a shaved head. Now, according to the set of images shared by Lupita on Instagram, her hair was actually styled in the loose Afro ponytail for the photo shoot. Nyong'o expressed her disappointment. Nyong'o Lupita, that is, because we have a Nyong'o here writing uh, on Thursday and I quote, I embrace my natural heritage and despite having grown up thinking light skin and straight silky hair were the standards of beauty i now know that my dark skin and kinky coily hair are beautiful too all right that's according to lupita nanyongo over, over to tanzania where a tanzanian music band called sondo has sued diamond platinum and wcb was for allegedly stealing saxophone beats from their past song and used the beats on the song Zilipendwa. Nene, 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 Zilipendwa, produced by Diamond featuring the WCB crew of Rich Mavoko, Harmonize, and Raivani. Msono once get this 13.8 million Kenyan shillings from WCB saying it used the beats without their consent. Msono has sued WCB through Maxim Advocates, a company of suit has been issued to Tanzania's, a copy rather has been issued to the arts and entertainment body, but certainly neither WCB nor Diamond has responded to Msono Band's allegations. Now, Nigerian singer Banky W has undergone a third cancer surgery. Banky W yesterday shared on his Instagram, as you can see there, kissing, uh, let's believe that's the wife, his journey with the disease for over 10 years. Banky W in the post, which was displayed, pictures of his fiancée, sorry. The fiancée is called Adesua Etomi by his side in the hospital, was full of gratitude to God. He wrote, and I quote, for those who've been wondering why I've been away for so long, I had my third surgery on the rare strain of skin cancer, tumors in my shoulder last month. The first two times were over 10 years ago. Then it recently resurfaced, but this is a sad story. And he goes on and on and on about that. He says, it is a reminder that you should never take life for granted. Take a look at some trends as well. Now, if you're hoping to get that blue tick across your name on Twitter, that blue tick that gives you validity, it might take a bit longer. Why? Because uh, to the popular web social media platform announced on Thursday that it would suspend verifying accounts after it received heavy criticism for providing Jason Kessler, an organizer of the far right Unite the Right protest in Charlottesville, Virginia, with a verification badge on Wednesday. Now, he says that verification was meant to authenticate identity and voice, but it is interpreted as an endorsement or an indicator of importance, Twitter support said. They say that we recognize that we have created this confusion and need to resolve it. We have pushed all the general verifications while we work and will report back soon. Twitter has a blue check mark to accounts that is verified are genuine. Nicki Minaj's brother is in trouble a little bit. The name of the brother, <laughs> brother, 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 brother is uh, Jelani Maraj. He faces life in jail after being found guilty of predatory assault against an 11-year-old girl. Jelani Maraj, the brother of rapper Nicki Minaj, has been found guilty of the sexual assault. He's 38 years old. He was on trial for raping an 11-year-old girl on multiple occasions at his Long Island home and was charged with the crime in 2015, found guilty uh, in New York. And this starts to happen this week. He faces potential 25 years in life. Now, this story has been doing a lot of rounds. Nazlin Umar broke down during a live radio interview while she recounted the complexities tangling her love life with the National Assembly Majority Leader Aden Duale. The former presidential candidate said that she loves the Garissa Member of Parliament, Aden Duale, and that even his wife knows of their relationship. You remember, they are allowed for. Nazlin, who referred to the legislator by his first name, Aden, says his wife knows of their ongoing relationship and has never had an issue. Nazlin further said that the leaking of their love life is part of a conspiracy orchestrated by someone who wants to be removed as majority leader and blocker from contesting for presidency in 2022, although I doubt that a uh, personal life such as that could block somebody from moving around in that sort of sphere. Anyway, that is as far as uh, the trends and the gospel of uh, Much thank you to uh, Brian O'Koth for putting it together and also for uh, Ann Otanga who is out there saluting.